Hello my fellow Minecraft fans and welcome to another video. Today we have a, something kind of special because if you are a fan of Permacraft like I have, then you may have recently seen a Cup fan's video where he built a four stage item and shulker box sorting slash unloading system in his base, his mega pyramid. And when I saw that I was like, whoa, I wish I could know how to build that. And I would love to build that in my survival world on my Comcraft series, which is a survival multiplayer server that I plan with my friends. And I noticed that it was kind of hard to see how to actually build it from his video. And so I personally knew myself that I need to figure out how to build this thing. And I decided to make a tutorial for all of you guys in case you are interested in building his design because I think it's going to be pretty cool. It looks really effective and useful at sorting items. So here is his design and his design is actually a design by Samos the Sage and I used a combination of Cup fans video and Samos the Sage's video to construct this and this is as close as I could possibly get it to Cub's design I do believe that his design is slightly more custom at least some of the unloading systems are and I left out the unloading systems because that is just sort of up to you it's pretty easy to build the various unloading systems at the various points of this machine here I guess but anyways this is the closest I could come to that just by looking at both of their videos and figuring it out so I now I need to actually explain what this does and how to build it so basically it is comprised of four stages or four modules the first module separates items and shulker boxes the items just go into this just shulker boxes continue down into here into the second stage where they're sorted into empty boxes and boxes with stuff in them then they go to the third stage and are sorted into partially full boxes and then uh, completely full boxes. The full boxes stay here and the partially full go down here to a shulker box unloader where the items are taken out and the shulker boxes are put into a barrel or some other device with an inventory. Now to display this, I now here have some items, an empty shulker box, a partially full shulker box and a completely full shulker box. So if we put all of that into the system up there you'll see this starts firing the items start going into there if we come down here we should see the empty box goes into this chest and the box with stuff remains here and that is because of the way the system works with redstone blocks that there's always one shulker box left over in the st in these in the second and third stage just because of how it works but as you can see if we put in one more of these full boxes this will have there's another one in here but it will have made its way all the way down into the full boxes hopper if you put a third one in it would actually make it into the chest but that's just the way the system worked it's kind of unavoidable having that so there'll just be one that's left in the machine for each of these modules but if you come down here you'll see that this shulker box has already unloaded everything in it and uh, let me just actually put one in here so you can see it in action this goes down here it gets spit out the items are taken out of it in this case bird poop and once it's empty it just gets shoved over here and goes into that other barrel so that is how it works it's pretty fancy I can definitely see this being massively useful for my own purposes in survival on my let's play but now you guys are probably all wondering how do you actually build this complicated looking machine and one thing I'd like to point out first is that it is tileable the entire machine is tileable so it does not necessarily take up a lot of space in terms of depth but it's a little bit it's kind of wide and tall depending on how you build it I think probably the easiest way to build this machine is probably vertically and so let's go over all the individual modules now starting with the top now this module down here is the top module where items and then the shulker boxes go. So you saw that in action up here. Shulker boxes go into there, items go into that chest. So the way you build this is just a double chest or some, it doesn't even need a chest. You could have items directly going into that hopper with a comparator on top of a block and then a sticky piston with an observer facing downward. That is all on that level and then the next one we have a dropper facing downward into this dropper which is facing into the shulker box and we have a uh, an observer facing this iron trap door with a repeater set to a one tick delay then we have another observer facing out that way into this observer which is facing straight up with a block underneath it here we have just 
it needs a dummy shulker box with nothing in it because of the way the items and shulker boxes work you cannot put items you cannot put shulker boxes inside other shulker boxes so that is how this actually gets sorted the shulker boxes just go down here versus the items going into the shulker box and then getting sorted out that way that is how this module works it is pretty simple it just like uses some basic mechanics it does not take a lot to build just like four observers a few blocks some hoppers uh two droppers and a comparator repeater no dust or anything required so that is module number one or stage number one of this machine the second stage which is this sorts out empty boxes and boxes that contain items and this over here is that module so this sorts out empty shulker boxes versus shulker boxes that have items in them so if you put um let's say you put these two boxes in here that this one has empty shulker box this chest has an empty shulker box and that's actually just left over from my own testing but you can see that the box with items is in here and it got caught in the hopper because of the way the redstone blocks and everything works this is a more complicated module it requires a lot more so it is it starts off with two hoppers facing down into a dispenser which is obviously pointed that way then we have these four blocks back here with a repeater set to one tick a comparator some redstone dust an observer facing outward from the hopper and then that there's another observer over here facing into that hopper with a sticky piston on the back and then we have a block with another observer facing straight up and then down here we have a repeater and down here we have a repeater uh, set to just the normal default tick setting as opposed to this one which is one tick on top of a block with a sticky piston facing downward beneath it and we have a uh which way is that facing okay yeah we have an observer facing out that way into this other observer which is facing straight up which has an activator rail on top of it then we have this slab here on the side of the piston with some hoppers facing that direction into some chests and then a redstone block down here and that is all you need to build that it is more complicated and needs more resources but it it's not it's not that hard to build hopefully this tutorial will help you build this yourselves moving on to the third stage we have the partially full and full shulker box sorting module which is this one right over here and as you can see if we put in let's see this shulker box let's just make sure yeah there's some test stuff from when i was messing around by myself if we put in this full we put in this full shulker box and this partially full shulker box you will see that the uh, full shulker box ends up right here in this hopper if you put another one through it will push it into the chest this one ends up in the chest it is the partially full shulker partially filled shulker box and this one also starts off with two hoppers facing downward into a dispenser and then on this side we have a sticky piston facing downward into a into an observer which is facing in that direction toward these two blocks which have a repeater on top next we have another block and an observer facing downward into this comparator which is in turn on an observer facing into this other observer facing that direction this one is facing straight up and it has a redstone wire powered by a redstone block running over the top of it then we have another slab just like before and on this side we have an observer on the second hopper facing that way toward this activator rail and down here we have a comparator and then it's basically just the two hoppers facing that direction into the two chests with a redstone block down there that's all you need for the third module and it's probably a little less complicated than that one that's probably the most complicated module here and so just mainly lots of observers and stuff like that's what you're gonna need on to the fourth module which is actually the shulker box unloading system this is from the best that i could tell from cubs video i didn't see this exact design in the video of sam Austin sages that he linked where he got the other designs from and keep in mind that his specific setup is going to be kind of unique to him based on how he configured the pipelines and output systems and stuff like that but this is just the base machine with just 
like you can configure these outputs as much as you want to go where you want and unload how you want so basically this is what I got from looking at this video and apparently I got all of it because it does a fully function which is always a nice thing so um, you've already seen this but just to demonstrate one more time items in there and then shulker box we put the shulker box in here it gets spit out here the items go down shulker box ends up right in there and this design this module is significantly easier to build than the other two it just starts off with two more of these hoppers and you can he did like a six i think he did six modules of these just tiled right next to each other which is why i have this hopper facing outward but if you're just doing one you don't really need it facing outward this is just so that you could add more onto the side of this basically we have an observer facing into that hopper with an observer like it's always so hard to tell yeah that observer is facing up into that observer above it we have a sticky piston down here with just a block and then we have a normal piston facing that way underneath this observer with a dispenser facing downward then we have just a normal block um we have another we have a hopper facing downward and then we have one facing out going into an inventory or it could just be another hopper but his design included a barrel here so that's why i have that and this is just we have a comparator on top of that hopper and then a block then another comparator facing into that block and then down here we have a dropper facing downward and that is underneath an observer that is also facing downward and then up here is a sticky piston and a redstone block and that is how you construct the fourth module of this machine and that is basically it for how you build a machine there are different ways you can tie it in so i just used hopper chains to transport all the items downward as you can see i just obviously took out the chests or just other things in each individual module and made it hoppers when i needed and so this may look kind of complicated and is complicated but like what it does is fairly simple like i kind of it doesn't look simple but it's not it's not that hard to build it just takes you're gonna need a lot of pistons a lot of hoppers and a lot of observers and then you'll obviously need a few comparators repeaters redstone blocks stuff like that to make this design run and remember that there are different ways that you can configure the outputs for all these different stages for example he had like various uh, various automatic item dropper systems for each of the different places where he took items out of the system in his video but that is up for you to decide and to build according to your needs and I'm going to point out this looks really nasty floating in midair so you're going to probably want to either build up a building around it or sink it into the ground like Cub Fan did in his pyramid. He had it all tucked away and hidden underneath his giant well or whirlpool. But anyways I hope that you found this video informative or helpful in your quest to have an epic sorting system. I have never had a sorting system this complicated myself so I'll be happy to build it when I get around to that. But also, um, go be sure to check out Cub Fan's video and Sam Austin Sage's video. I will link both of them down in the description below. This is just a tutorial for how to build the completed machine all hooked together and everything like that in your own survival world. So, if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe with notifications on for more epic videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!